First up, demonstrators demanding an end to the war between Israel and Hamas marching into the Arden Fair Mall this afternoon. Lifecopter 3 was getting these exclusive pictures here as they were walking right into the mall the very moment there they were carrying their flags and banners to stores and customers inside that protest part of a nationwide effort to call attention to the war between Israel and Hamas. The demonstrators disrupting shoppers on what is traditionally the kickoff to the holiday shopping season. And Livecopter 3 is currently over Arden Fair Mall to give you an idea of what that looks like right now at this hour. Uh, this is the uh, western entrance there to the mall parking lot. This is near BJ's Brew House. And as you can see right here, you can see a, a light uh, flashing there. It looks like some kind of a tow truck. There are still a few of the uh, demonstrators there, the crowd has diminished somewhat. A few left, and they are still blocking uh, that entrance there, right there in the crosswalk. They're blocking uh, that entrance to the mall. You can also see some cars with Palestinian flags uh, being shown from the car windows. KCR 83's Maricela Della Cruz is live there at the mall tonight with the latest on what happened. Maricela. Yeah, Goldston, as you mentioned, a lot of people have already left, but hundreds of people have made it out here throughout the day. There's still some people out here causing a delay in traffic. Many demonstrators blocking one of these main entrances to the parking lot, the entrance to the mall itself, and they even went inside all to send a message. Now, we're going to go ahead and sh show you some video from about two hours ago when demonstrators marched into the mall, filling the space around the Christmas tree with... Uh, was chance. Now the message that they had for shoppers, they say, is to know who they are buying from, calling out big companies and big names. They say what better day to spread the message than on one of the biggest shopping days of the year. Let's go ahead and hear from some of those protesters. It's not a day to go shopping. It's a day to remember these people that have lost their lives and to fight for the lives that are still there to, to save those lives. That's what we need to be focusing on, saving lives and saving children, saving innocent civilians that are being killed. You guys can sit there and solve Taylor Swift's puzzles for her new album, but nobody has time to research the history of what has happened in the last 75 years, and it's a shame. And out here, there is also a lot of presence from the Sacramento Police Department, uh, dozens of officers also here, just making sure that uh, it doesn't get out of hand. Now, uh, we were able to go inside the mall also. We spoke to a few people working inside. They say that while they were shocked, they were pretty surprised about uh, the protesters going inside. Uh, they said that there were no damages or no disruptions, no issues really that happened inside the mall. Now, we are live at Arden Fair. Maricela de la Cruz, KTRA 3 News. So, Maricela, just from where you are, I hope you can hear me. I mean, are they still blocking the entrance right there? Because I'm just wondering with the police there, and if they're blocking the entrance, why nothing's being done? Um, they, there is uh, some part of the uh, entrance that is being blocked, but I think they are um, moving out of the way once the light, uh, the traffic light is turning green. So traffic is it's moving very slowly. Um, they are moving right now. There's the red light, so they are still there, but we have noticed that once that light turns green, they are allowing the cars to go by again very slowly. Uh, so any people who are trying to get out of the mall are uh, having to wait uh, for a little while. Uh, um, out here, but uh, it, it is moving uh, slowly. Okay.